What's going on everybody? It's your boy. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting the camera. And I'm here to go ahead and I'm still playing catch up, alright? Giving you guys Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 8. This is Episode 1. So yeah, here we go. <coughs> Y'all have to excuse me, like, I seriously, no shit. Just went and got, where the fuck is it? Fucking vaccination <clears throat> for the flu. And I think this shit is already starting to hit me this fucking quick, and I am not happy about it. So hopefully this is not derail me. I just got the fuck back. I cannot be knocked off this fucking quick, you know? <sighs> but anyway, <clears throat> so Todd and Candy are pregnant. Yeah, we already fucking knew. Moving on, <clears throat> Zada Jackie tells her she needs to slow the fuck down. Because uh, like I said, she is uh, past 35, and of course, any, any uh, woman pregnant past 35 is considered high risk for uh, pregnancy. Um, <clears throat> fake drill comes on the scene giving me straight thought Landia collection she even tells fucking Horsha that you know she was um, embodying her I don't know why the fuck she would do that <clears throat> and she says that uh, Horsha has been her uh, rock uh, with the whole uh, like the, I guess like the last year what not so what the fuck was Nini but uh, again I'm not checking for Nini either and Horsha is quick to spill Cynthia's tea saying you know what she needs to do <clears throat> But she wasn't trying to hit it when they were trying to tell her what the fuck she need to do in her fucking marriage, I'm just saying. Uh, what else? Uh, Cynthia talks to Patricia, and, you know, I think she finally, truly got the backbone off layaway. Because she going in on it, he tries to get, she like, no, no, sit back down. I'm just like, ooh, all right, all right, Miss Thomas. Like I said, I think she married the wrong Thomas, probably should have married this one, I'm just saying. But, all right, Miss Baylor, go right now. <clears throat> So now we got Horsha and Duke. So Duke is 24. <clears throat> with a book bag. Into her. And giving me straight Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. You know, just that whole thing. Just that over uh, infatuation. <clears throat> like I said, she's still giving me thoughtness. But you know, it is what it is. And you know, Horsha feels like sugar thought. You know, just want to sit here and trick on her. I'm just like, oh, all right now. And if y'all really watch Horsha, especially in her confessions while she's talking about Duke, tell me if she's not trying to sit here and be Kenya. If y'all don't see it, because I'll fucking see it. <clears throat> Moving on. Kenya is in the same neighborhood as Sheree. <clears throat> uh, shit by Sheree is pretty much complete, but not quite. And uh, more matter is in the early stages of development. <clears throat> okay. Early stages of development, but... <clears throat> you know it is what it is he just bought it and I mean on some real shit even though it's in the early stages it looked a hell of a lot further off than uh, when shit by Sheree even fucking first started I'm just saying <clears throat> what else we got so fake drill okay so she's with the mucinex lady but the mucinex lady is looking like you know a big ass ultra bottle muffin Pepto Bismol <clears throat> talking about her life I really don't give a fuck and apparently now Fake is going to file. Okay, whatever. I believe that shit when I fucking see it. Because again, I don't give a fuck about her or her fucking out marriage moving on. Candy. Y'all know it's because of Candy that I even started watching this fucking franchise. So, Miss Candy Burris. <clears throat> uh, she brings up Apollo's bike. And I'm going to pause here for a second because y'all know that they are in the tabloids. They're about to get served with a subpoena <clears throat> to come and check their shit and whatnot. Because they were idiotic enough to talk about this shit on fucking camera. And it was Candy who actually opened her mouth about the shit. So I know she all types of pissed, but that's what you get for running your mouth and having loose lips now. <clears throat> so apparently Paolo has not talked to or seen his kids. Yet Fakedra is saying something completely different, but what the fuck do we expect? I mean, she even lied about her fucking pregnancy in the beginning, so all the, all the fuck she can't do is lie. <clears throat> Fakedra and Candy are not close. I think we all saw that. Todd is mad. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, help me, Lord. As uh, mad because uh, she still ain't paid him the rest of his money because he helped uh, produce that bullshit uh, workout, uh, whatever you want to call it, that still has not made it to DVD. <clears throat> and, you know, Todd wants Candy to talk to Fake Drew about that shit, but Candy doesn't feel that she should. And I'm going to say this. <coughs> I can see both sides. I do think professionally and from a business aspect that Todd should talk to her. But if he does, <clears throat> people are going to start calling Ty, you know, uh, you know, I don't even know a female name to even give Ty right now, even though I'm not saying that Ty acts like a bitch. But if that happens and shit get heated, which I foresee it does, people going to be quick to call Ty a bitch. 
You know what I'm saying? Even though it's business that he should handle it <clears throat> in an instance like this, especially since the shit is televised, I do think that he should let his wife go and handle it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Just my fucking opinion. Um, Mel and Cynthia. Um, so Cynthia is pretty much saying how Patricia wants a place in fucking Charlotte. <clears throat> I would be against that shit too. And you know, Mel never been here for uh, Patricia. Still isn't. <clears throat> and go so far as to ask, uh, you know, Cynthia, are you still physically attracted to uh, Patricia? And you know, Cynthia's just like, no, I'm not. And, <clears throat> you know, Mel wants to harp on that, but it's one of those which is like, you know, there's different things that make up a marriage. And, you know, as long as there is an attraction there, that's what matters. It doesn't always have to be physical. Plus, trust me when I say, Looks and everything else fade, and she was right. He uh, wasn't a fucking supermodel when she fucking married his ass, but I digress. <clears throat> so now we're at uh, Cynthia's hour party. Phaedra is worried about what the fuck Cynthia. Now, everybody is too, but she's talking about some, you know, it's wrong. And you can, <clears throat> my whole thing is this on some real shit. All y'all ass need to shut the fuck up. Y'all had a free motherfucking event. She probably gonna get y'all ass some motherfucking hour. And y'all drinking on some free motherfucking liquor. Y'all could be any y'all could have been any place else, which most of y'all ain't got the motherfucking coins for that shit any motherfucking way. Or even the fucking statue. But y'all asses there drinking on her motherfucking liquor. I'ma have to ask for all y'all asses, especially for Phaedra motherfucking ass, to shut smooth the fuck up. <clears throat> Better yeah, go worry about your motherfucking jobs and your motherfucking kids. And go take your kids to see your motherfucking husband. That's what, that's what I want you to do, okay? Because <clears throat> why you get why you can take all these motherfucking trips, you should damn sure ain't took a trip to see his motherfucking ass, but I fucking digress. Moving on. <clears throat> I was mad that Patricia was in Kenya's face like that and literally went the fuck in. Now, I, I will say Kenya does stir the pot, but <clears throat> also real bitch assness. The fact that he stepped to her the way that he did, I wasn't feeling that shit by no means. <clears throat> Now Kenya goes, <clears throat> Kenya and Marla go, and uh, Kenya starts sharing the tea. I wasn't, mad, I wasn't happy with that. Okay, cause it's like, okay, you don't need to be sharing that. But what made it even worse is Mallory bring her ass over. She just start telling her thing, and <clears throat> Kenya said it best. Her confessional. Most of these bitches don't even like your damn sister, and you tell them all her motherfucking business. I wasn't happy about that. <clears throat> but what I say, I will. What I will say that I was happy about. Is Miss Cynthia Bailey made a motherfucking interest on y'all asses? <clears throat> okay, gave y'all nothing but thigh, leg, and bootie. All right, showing y'all that she could still motherfucking do it. I was so here for that motherfucking interest. Whoo, yes, baby. <clears throat> and then of course, uh, shit by charade comes in. Now my whole thing is this: she looks good for her age. But I don't know who the fuck does her hair, her makeup, and I'm not one to talk about hair and makeup because I don't know shit about it. But what I will say is compare <clears throat> to the other ladies in a side-by-side -side comparison, not quite there. So she's going to have to do some shit about that right there. You feel what I'm saying? And, of course, you know they get at it, <clears throat> get into it, you know. And my thing is this, Sheree was quick to turn up. Regardless of what it was Kenya was saying, y'all have to look at this shit <clears throat> from, a, like I said, because I do my fucking trending topic section. You can tell that she came in with the intent of let me go and if <clears throat> some shit don't start, I'ma start some shit. Because again, she ain't been on the show, so you can tell she was trying to make her mark. And all this for not because you know Carlos King then pretty much sold Joe as of the motherfucking river, but any fucking way. <clears throat> you know, she's talking about don't nobody need to be in my business and Kenya has some reads for that ass talking about some, you know, the only one in your business is the city. And then, you know, <clears throat> shit by Sheree is talking about, you know, her house and how, you know, she borrowed the property, even the lot that she's in. She was like, I might be sleeping in that lot, but you gonna still be sleep Something along the lines, you still gonna be sleeping in that tent when my shit is, <clears throat> is done or some shit like that. And now Sheree's all up in her bag and her feelings, you know, talking about some I'm a getter and all the other shit. And it's just like, you turn up too quick, too motherfucking fast and all for what? Because you are not even holding a fucking beast. But that's all I got. I guess we can consider this a quickie, maybe, possibly. But that's all I got for you guys for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 8, Episode 1. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll be back later on tonight for 2 and Episode 3. So, until then, I love you all. Be safe. Peace.